Hello everyone and welcome to another computer tutorial for beginners. I'm Babbage with DigitalBrink.com and today we're going to be talking about zipping and unzipping files in Windows XP. Um, right after you install Windows XP it already has the ability to zip and unzip files. It's a very simple process so the easiest way for me just to explain it to you is to show you how to do it. So today I'm going to show you first how to compress one file, then I'm going to show you how to compress multiple files, and then finally how to compress a folder. So let's first start with this first file. It's called File to Compress 1. If I right click on the file, on the context menu that comes up, if you go to Send To, and then select Compress Zipped Folder, this will automatically compress the file for me. Now compressing the file and zipping the file are the same thing. Basically it takes the original file and finds anything that it can remove out of there while still keeping uh, the originality of the file the same and just makes the file smaller. Now when you uncompress a file, it goes back to the original state that it was in. So let me just show you here. If I click on this, you'll see a new file has appeared here on the desktop. It's still called File to Compress 1, but you can see now that the it has a folder icon with a little zipper on it. Now if I hover over File to Compress 1 down here, you can see that the file size is 18.3 kilobytes. If I check out the size of the compressed version, it's 6.62 kilobytes. So you can see I saved myself about 12 kilobytes in size. Now, um, you know, that might not seem like a lot to you, but when you start doing a lot of files at once, you start to see a lot of compression, and really you can get some good compression out of some files. So when a file is compressed, like I said, it, it reduces the file size, but you can restore it also. So if I double click on this file, you can see here, I can see the file that's in here, and on the left hand side there's extract all files. If I click on that, it'll bring up the extraction wizard, and if you click next, it'll ask you where you want to extract this file to. So because I already have one on the desktop, I don't want to overwrite it, so I'm going to hit browse, and just select my documents for it. And now if I hit next, you can see it's been extracted and if I leave show extracted file selected and hit finish, it'll bring up the my documents window and here you can see file to compress. And if I hover over it again, you can see the size is 18.3 kilobytes. So it restored the original file from my compressed file. Um, you know, relatively easy. Now, I can also right click on this and then go to extract all and when I click on extract all it does the same thing it brings up the extraction wizard if you click next you can choose where you want to extract it to and just like we just did so there's two ways that you can extract it either by double clicking on the compressed file and then hitting extract all files or by right clicking on the file and then going to extract all and both of those uh, ways will bring up the extraction wizard now let me remove this and this file as well. And now I'm going to show you how you can compress or zip up two files at once. So to compress two files, all you have to do is select the files that you want to compress. In this case it's going to be file to compress 1 and file to compress 2. And if I right click after I've highlighted both of them and select send to and then compress the zip folder, it's that easy again. You can see it's taken the name of the first file that I had selected but if you open up this compressed file you can see both of them are in here. Now I can click on extract all files and it will bring up the extraction wizard again and then I can choose where to extract both of these files to. Or I can uh, copy one of these files. I just right click on one of these files and then select copy and then actually I can paste it anywhere I want to and that will effectively unzip one of the files and paste it where I want it. Now again, you can also right click on your compressed version and click on extract all and it will bring up the extraction wizard and extract all those files as well. So you can see it's a pretty simple process. I mean all you really have to do is right click on a file, go to send to, and then compress zipped folder. And that will create the folder, zip up all the files that you have selected uh, into it, and then you'll have a compressed version and when you zip up a file it's good to to do that especially if you're going to be emailing somebody a lot of files um, because it puts them all into one file and then makes the file size smaller so let's see here 
uh, how to compress a folder. So in this folder you can see I have file to compress 1 and file to compress 2. If I want to compress this entire folder, you know, I, inside this folder I could technically have, you know, as many files as I wanted to. All I have to do is right click on the folder, go to send to, and hit compress zip folder. And you'll see here's the the zipped version of folder to compress. And if I open that up, you can see the folders in here, and I can also open that up and see the two files that I've compressed. So it's it's a really easy process to zip and unzip files in Windows XP. Um, this is just using the built-in zipping utilities that Windows comes with. There are also other utilities that you might have heard of, like uh, WinZip, WinRAR, 7-Zip. Those are uh, third-party programs that you can download and install that also give you additional zipping capabilities. Some of them allow you to control how much compression and how, how small you want the file sizes to be. Um, but the, the built-in window zipping utilities are usually enough for most people to, to get by with. So I hope you've learned a little bit here and uh, check out digitalbrink.com for additional tutorials and uh, I hope to see you again. Thank you.